Hello, editors. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make this really cool Apple style glass effect inside DaVinci Resolve. So let's dive in. From the effects menu, drag down a fusion composition on the timeline. Then jump into the fusion page. Now, drag down a background node from this toolbar. Connect it to the media out. Let's make some space. And then add your background image. I am using this nice mountains wallpaper. Then drag down another background node and connect it to the output of Merge 1. Select the background and click on this rectangle mask right here. It will create a rectangle mask. Change its size by dragging its corner, something like this. Then we will increase its corner radius. So we get a nice rectangle for our glass. Now, select the background node and in the inspector tab, change the type from solid color to gradient and leave it like this. Select this merge and decrease its blend value to somewhere around 0.3. So we get this transparent look. Next, select the background node and hit shift plus spacebar. Search soft glow and click add. And in the inspector tab, increase the threshold value to 0.3. The gain value to around 2.3. And the glow size to around 95.5. And we have this cool glow thing. But as you can see, the glow is spreading out of our rectangle mask. To fix this, take the output of our rectangle mask and connect it to the blue input of the glow node. So the glow will only apply inside the rectangle mask. Okay, now select the glow node and hit shift plus spacebar and search drop shadow, add it and adjust the settings accordingly. Now, we want to add a subtle white stroke around this glass effect. For that, drag down another background node and connect it to the output of the drop shadow node and change the background color to white. Now, select your rectangle mask, copy it and paste it besides background node and connect it to the background. In the inspector menu, uncheck solid and show view controls to see what's really going on. Then increase the border width to around 0.0033. And we have this white stroke around our glass. Actually, I'm gonna make it five. It's not subtle, but it'll make sense later. Now, it's time for the secret sauce. Click in the blank area and hit shift plus spacebar. Search displace, select it and click add. Connect it to the output of this merge. Let's make some space for other notes. Now, copy your rectangle mask and paste it besides the displace node like this. Take the output of the rectangle mask and connect it to the blue input of the merge node so that every node we connect to this merge will only affect the rectangle area. Then again, take the output of the mask and connect it to the green input of the displace node. Now our main glass effect will be on foreground and the displace node will work in the background. Also connect the output of this merge to the yellow input of the displace node. So our base glass we made earlier works in the background as well. If this sounds complicated to you guys, I've already talked about how node input works in this video. Check this out if you want to know, if not, then continue. Select the displace node and change the offset value to minus one. Change the refraction strength to minus one as well. Light power to five. And lastly, change spread to three. Now. As you can see, we have this glassy stretch around the edges, and this looks really cool. If you want more of this, then increase the spread value, but it looks good to me, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Now, while the displace node is selected, hit shift plus spacebar, and search Gaussian blur, and add it. Change the strength value to 0.4. And just like that, our Apple style glass effect is done. Congratulations. If you like this video, check other ones too. Thanks for watching.